considered a rivalry. Each team usually has to win once in a while. But when it comes to Creighton and Nebraska, that has not exactly been the case. The Jays have owned the Huskers lately, winning the last six in a row. Tim Miles' team trying to end that streak this afternoon in Omaha against Greg McDermott's club. Pick it up in the first half. Kyrie Thomas to Martin Crumple, the alley oop, 2 0 Blue Jays, just like that. But the Big Red would fight back. James Palmer lines up the three pointer. That is good. Huskers up at that point by four. Later in the first, more from NU. Isaiah Roby drives in and dunks it. Nebraska up 25 to 19, and that'll get Greg McDermott's attention. Still in the first, Isaac Copeland. The dunk and the foul, he had a game high 20. Huskers up by five at the half and they'd lead by as many as eight in the second. Even the governor in the crowd. Second half, Jays start to wake up. Ronnie Harrell, the give and go to Mitch Ballack. Harrell hammers it home. Creighton up by four. Later in the second, Ballack drives in, lays it off the glass. Two of his 13 points. Blue Jays up 60 to 57. Under a minute to play, Creighton up three. Marcus Foster, three of his team high 19 points. He had 17 of those in the second half. And that puts Creighton up 69-63. Greg McDermott a little smirk there. And Creighton hits a few free throws to seal the deal as Creighton comes away with the victory. 75-65, make it seven in a row now for the Blue Jays over the Big Red. CU's won 15 of the last 18 regular season games against the Huskers and now takes the overall series lead at 26-25. Well, the crowd got into it. Uh, they ran out of timeout, so they couldn't stop it. Um, and our guys, you know, our spacing was good. We executed some plays extremely well. And, and then on a couple of them, it's, you know, it's guys going to make a play. We're not perfect. We showed that. They're fun to coach. They really are. I mean, there was a lot of fun for a long time tonight. I really believe in our team. I can't wait till we play next week. I'm sure this is going to make us sick to watch this film, but we're going to get better from this.